they're out, on, out extending the defense. They seem like they're a much better, better team. They forced a few turnovers on us. But, uh, I, you know, for them to sit back and uh, play a 2-3 zone, I think they're a better team than that. And uh, their athleticism kind of shows when they uh, get out three-quarter court and put some pressure on you. Yeah, and I, I think a little bit of that's youth right now with, you know, with their um, thinking on that. They, they he, he worries about them getting lost in that press a little bit. Um, they got they got beat a couple times on that press, and and so he got them back in his zone. They picked up some fouls, and they were in a little bit of foul trouble. So I think that's another reason why they went that zone. Coach Cravens, I know he really would like. He's more of a man to man guy, and I think really likes to stay with his his bread and butter man to man defense. But um, you know, they're 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 going to be a team to can like you said, they're awfully young. They don't have a senior on the roster. They're going to be a team to contend with over the next several years. Um, they're, they're very athletic. Um, that Connolly girl, about 5'9 point guard, that, that poses a serious problem, you know, for us. Um, Kennedy, Kennedy did a nice job um, keeping her in front of her for the most part. We had a hard time when, when Kennedy was out of the game finding somebody to, to get out there and, and, and keep her in front of them. And, and, but, you know, that this early in the season, we'll have to work on that a little bit. I thought they played fairly smart. The uh, Cravens girl, when she recognizes a little bit of a mismatch, kind of took advantage of that. You don't see that a lot with the girls, but she's got some game to her, and she stepped out and hit a couple threes uh, earlier in the contest. But we, for the most part, kept pretty good track of her. But she's a pretty good ball player also. Yeah, she, you know, she was very selective about the shots she took, and you know, she didn't force anything. She took the shots she did take were um, when the defense allowed her to. Um, you know, she she's a nice player. Of course, being a coach's daughter, she's probably well educated in the game of basketball. What are we looking at in uh, at uh, Sacred Heart this Friday? The Sacred Heart, they 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 have a point guard in a little bit different um, kind of way with a short, quick kid versus the the big, tall, lanky kid. But um, uh, they're gonna they're gonna be really scrappy defensively. They they lost their two um, big post players from last year. Good. Um, the the um, the point guard's name's um, escaping me right now, but Rodriguez. Uh, no, it's uh, I can't think of it. Her um, her grandfather's actually the, now the coach. I can't think of her name, but um, the girls to help me out there. But they're gonna be they're gonna be real quick on the perimeter. If they don't have much size underneath, they're gonna be awfully young as well. Um, like I said, they graduated the two senior post players from last year, and um, and they're gonna be a lot more guard oriented than what we've seen for the last three years. Coach, I was going to comment on the fact that I can't hardly hear myself talking here. One of the things that I noticed is the fact that uh, I like the, the the ball movement as we moved it around down low. Did a great job of moving the ball tonight, uh, waiting and patience, getting that ball with a cutter going across the lane, unselfishness on numerous girls' parts, just waiting for that play to develop. We had a lot of low block points with that ball movement down low. Yeah, that's one thing. Uh, you know, watching our film over the last the last week, we've been a very impatient bunch. I think up to this point in the season, and and we'll we'll make pass. You know, take a shot, three to four passes into the offense, and and, and like I told them, you don't have to. We don't have to be so impatient and and try to make a play so fast. If we'll run our offense, something will open up. Even there at the end, we're just we're just running the clock down. And moving the ball around, there, and they just totally lose alley underneath the basket the one time, just because you know we're moving the ball around and, and they're chasing us, and, and they just totally lost her. So if if we'll be more patient on offense, which last week we didn't put up a lot of points, I think that'll really help us as we go forward this season. Absolutely, uh, 18 to 21 from the free throw line. Nice job by the girls tonight. Much improved. Um, I'd like to see that. That was a great job by the girls uh, hitting some free throws down the line. Uh, nice job by the ladies. Yeah, that was a, that was a point of emphasis in practice yesterday. <laughs> we spent a lot of time shooting free throws after last week. You know, I know we're a better shoot free throw shooting team than what we showed last week, and so you know, I, I, I talked them through you know the process of getting up there, taking a deep breath. You know, just take your time, shoot the ball. You know, you know, don't put so much pressure on yourselves. And I think it helped it, um, tonight. You know, on somebody else's home court, um, they did a nice job. Coach, thanks for uh, coming up and chatting with us. I appreciate you uh, uh, taking the time with us. Congratulations Thank on you. a great victory, buddy. It's exciting to see. Thank you, guys. Well, we will take a break, and then we will be back with the boys' action. 
You're listening to SalinaPost.com as well as uh, as well as Eagle Communication Channel Two, Minneapolis. We'll be back. The Minneapolis Junior Senior High School Lionbackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of these Lions games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. Where do you go when you need groceries? Jeans IGA, of course. Jeans is proud to be a sponsor of Minneapolis sports and hopes that you'll encourage your children to be as competitive in the classroom as they are in sports. Jeans IGA, a proud sponsor of today's game. Your Minneapolis hometown hardware is always there when you need an appliance, paint, tools. Well, truthfully, the list just goes on and on and on. So the next time you need something, almost anything, go to Hometown Hardware Minneapolis. They've probably got it. Well, welcome back to Ellsworth, Kansas. As we get ready for the boys' game, the Lions taking on the host Bearcats. The Ellsworth boys are three and one on the season. Pretty good season for them so far. They beat Lions, Elsaline, and Phillipsburg. Lost to a pretty good Plainville squad by 14. Minneapolis boys 3-0, champions of the Tri-County Classic. And uh, this is the 86th game in the series. Minneapolis leads it 48 wins to Ellsworth's 37. Minneapolis has won the last six games in a row. It would be uh, all the games in the last two seasons. Ellsworth last won on February 2nd, 2009, where they won three in a row. At Ellsworth, Minneapolis has won 20 and lost 17. And we're pretty anxious to see what the Bearcats provide tonight for opposition for the Lions. They've got a good guard back for the name of Slazier that's been giving us fits now for three years. Get his senior stab at it this year. Well, I think the important thing for Minneapolis Lions to do tonight is play with composure. At times we have lost that and consistency. I think the good stuff defense will carry us through. But uh, the guys are going to have to play hard to win here tonight. This Ellsworth team is going to be tough. And as you mentioned, Dale, that Glazer kid can fill it up. And if you lose sight of him, you're going to be in trouble because he can't score a lot. Starting lineups for the Minneapolis Lions, number uh, number three, Andrew Yoxel, six foot two senior for the Ellsworth Bearcats. Number three, a five foot nine senior, Shane Wilson for the Minneapolis Lions. Number five, a five foot nine senior, John Michael Darrow. And for the Ellsworth Bearcats, a six foot junior, Josh Bear. Uh, for the Minneapolis Lions, Number uh, number 10, and that is Alex Johnson, a six foot one senior for the Minneapolis Lions. For the Ellsworth Bearcats, and this is the one we've talked about. Clint Glazier, a six foot senior, and he is he can be deadly from the outside if you let him. He has played since a freshman. For the Minneapolis Lions, number 30. That is Alex Yoxel, a six foot one sophomore. And for the Ellsworth Bearcats, number 23, a six foot one senior, Ben Mural. And he's six foot one and he's pretty stocky down low. That'll create a little bit of a task for the Lions down low. For Minneapolis, number 32, a six foot four senior, Zach Allison. And for the Ellsworth Bearcats, a 5'11 senior, Jacob Freeze. This might be one of the few times we've got a size advantage. Yeah, they got two 6'5 kids on the roster, but uh, neither one of them started here tonight. Kind of different pace than the last several years. Well, that might show some speed. They might have a little bit of speed, and they might have some outside shooters. And you know they do in uh, in. Uh, Clint Glazier, and I'd imagine Jacob Freeze as well. Ellsworth Bearcats in their, in their uh, home white, Minneapolis in their traveling red. We will have the start of this action here in just a second. 
Well, Dale did offer me some popcorn finally. There's only four half kernels and an old maid left well, in there. You, when you could have taken I, that. I will tell you, I, I was also <laughs> impressed. I went and got myself a hamburger. And they looked good. Know, they were yeah, good. They looked I'll good. tell you. Just kidding, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a good ball game, I think. And jumping for the Minneapolis Lions is Zach Allison, as well as number 23, Ben Muir. Minneapolis in red, Ellsworth in their white, and the ball will go to the Ellsworth Bearcats, and they immediately start out, and a nice drop down low rebound, and the put in is missed, rebound back to Minneapolis. Boy, dodged the bullet there, Glazer had it down low. They get the tip, kind of a quick jump on the tip. Alex Johnson shot up and no good. Ball will go into Glazier's hands. Glazier immediately drives, and it's stolen by Yoxel. Oh, and he walks with it. Yeah, he did. He did. Took a hop. Had the near turnover. Had a good pick there. But he would give it right back to him. Nice steal. And the bucket is up and good by Jacob Freeze. That was very quick. Yeah, they are. Quick jumper. Andrew Yoxel from the free throw line back to Alex Yoxel. Alex looks down low, drives, and no call. Alex hits the floor hard. Ball will come back the other direction. Glazier back in the top, goes to Muro. Back to, over the right-hand side, back to the top to Wilson. Wilson drives, kicks it back up to Muro, looks down low. Nice job, pass down to Freeze, uh, down to Freeze, and he misses it. Off the glass, no good. It'll bring it back out to Darrow. And a near tackle there at the top of the key, no call. Andrew Yox on the outside, looks to Zach Allison. Andrew drives back around, kicks it back over. Down low to Alex Yoxel. Alex takes it in the paint, up and no good. Rebounded by Freeze, kicks it back out to Glazier. He's got a runner down to Wilson. Wilson will drive down, and it's kept Darryl, down low. Nice Darryl job. John Michael with the quick hands, Allison with the quick uh, feet to jump on that ball. Possession arrow to Minneapolis on the tie-up. Two to nothing, Ellsworth with the lead. Minneapolis looking for their first points of the night. <coughs> They're on the right-hand side. Kicks it back out, kicks it down low to Yoxel, back to Andrew Yoxel. From the free throw line is Andrew, up and good. Nice shot by the senior from the free throw line. Tied up at two, Glazier will bring it down for the Bearcats, guarded by Johnson, Frazier on the right-hand side, gives it off to Wilson. Wilson guarded by Darrow. Kicks it back on the outside of Mural. Mural quickly to Wilson, looks down low, has nothing, back to Mural, back to Freeze. Looks for a cutter, nice job, Alex Johnson. Shot up and off the mark, rebounded by Johnson. And uh, somehow Ellsworth comes out of that. Shot up and good by number 23, Mural. We're fighting over it, and we lose possession. Four to two, Ellsworth. There's been contact everywhere. Darrow for three, up and off the mark. And they're gonna get Zach Allison with the foul. Over the back, Zach whistled with his first personal foul, Minneapolis first team foul, as Josh Macy and John Kelly Head to the scorer's desk, see their first action as Alex Johnson and Ac um, Zach Allison get a breather. Ellsworth with a 4-2 lead. Glazier on the outside, he'll drive against Macy. Pulls it back out, looks down low. And they're gonna get John Kelly with the foul. We'll stay with the Bearcats, second personal foul on the Lions, first on Kelly. Swing pass down low and it's turned over as uh, Cunningham tries to get it down low and he's tipped out of bounds, it'll go back to the Lions. Well, both teams just kind of feeling each other out on the uh, offensive end, both teams playing good defense though, man to man. 
goes into Yoxel from the free throw line. He drives in, shot up and good. Nice job, Andrew Yoxel. This time a little floater leaning in. Nice job by Yoxel. 4.36 left to go in the first, tied up at four. Glazier at the top of the key, guarded by Macy. Kicks it back on the outside, goes to Freeze. Freeze back to Glazier for three, off the mark, rebounded by Josh Macy. Gets it back to Darrow. Darrow will bring it down. On Rolls around the left, he will drive in, gets his man in the air, back to Yoxel. Yoxel will drive, shot up and good. Nice job, Andrew Yoxel, a little floater in the lane. All six of the Lions points tonight so far. Well, Coach Shoup has got to have him take that shot. It's a good shot for us, and he's hit three in a row now. Alex Yoxel with some tight defense on freeze. Blazer drives all the way down low, and there is a blocking foul called on Kelly. That'll be his second. He tries to slide down. And Glazier will go to the line to shoot two. Zach Allison to come in for Kelly. Johnson will come in also. Glazier's first shot is up and good. Coming back in will be Johnson and Yoxel as Alex Yoxel sits down as well as <coughs> John Kelly. Second shot coming by Glazier. Shot is up and it is good as well. Tied up at six. Darrow gets it down to Johnson. Johnson. Oh, nice pass down low. And he is gets it to Zach Allison. Great pass by Johnson. He also, excuse me. <laughs> Zach Allison will go to the line to shoot two. Colin Briggs, ready to come in to the Lions. 346 left in the first, and Zach Allison makes the first one. Briggs will come in for Darrow. So Barr comes back in as well as Wilson back in for the Bearcats. Zach Allison at the line, shoot to second, seven to six lines to the lead. You know, Scott, we do have noticeable height advantage. But they are, as you said earlier, they are quick. They are quick. Misses it, rebound by Glazier. Oh, my. <laughs> and an elbow from Glazier right into Johnson's gut. Looks down low to freeze, has nothing. Spin move up and good, nice shot by Jacob Fries, the senior, with a nice little shot. Ball back out to Johnson. And to Andre Oxel. And it's stolen. Tipped away by Fries back in the hands of Wilson. Started by Macy. He'll drive. Nice job by, and he steps out of bounds. Nice job by. Zach Allison to step up there and help Josh Macy. Briggs will come back out. And looks like Andrew Yoxa will come out as well as Briggs gives Darrow a breather. Darrow comes in. Darrow back in. Alex Yoxel. So Macy, Alex Yoxel, Alex Johnson, Zach Allison, and Darrow in on the floor for the Lions. Macy drives. Kicks it back out to Johnson. Johnson looks. Kicks it back out to Yoxel. Nice job. Alex Yoxel in the finish. Great job by Alex Yoxel. A great pass by Alex Johnson. Nice ball movement right there. Great finish. Gets him up in the air and takes it right to him. The great pass that you mentioned, but Alex, I thought, did a great job. Going ahead and going all the way to the glass. Nice little bank shot off the window and in, and he gets the and one. Shot is up and it is good. Makes him, puts it up 10 to eight. Lions with the lead, 244 left in the first. Glazier on the outside. Oh, nice give and go. Oh, great job by block. Alex Shoxel. Johnson tries to chase it down. Glazier, whoa, Glazier had a double dribble double right dribble. there. No call, comes back on the outside. Swing pass over to Wilson. Wilson guarded by Darrow. 
Back to Glazier. Glazier for three. In and out. Rebounded by Bearcats and nearly tipped away by Johnson. Good help defense by Minneapolis. A couple of the Bearcats found themselves open, but we're quick to close. Freeze to the right side to Glazier. And that'll be off of white, off of red. It'll stay with white. I'll tell you, they are a quick ball movement down low for the Bearcats. Checking back in for Ellsworth is Muro. He checks back in for Wilson. This is a senior-laden team, the Bearcats. Three-point shot up and no good, but they get their own rebound again. This time it's off the glass. This time it's rebounded by Alex Yoxel. Back in the hands of Darrow. Well, we can't afford to give him that many chances. Ah. Move right away. Glazier with some quick hands right there. Gets the steal, back in the hands of Mural. Picks up his dribble, back to Glazier. Guarded by Johnson. It's the cutter down low to Barr. Nice job, Alex Johnson. And it will stay with the Bearcats, but we got a tie up. Andrew Yox are getting ready to check back in for the Lions. Great job of anticipating the passing lane there by Alex Johnson. Zach Allison tied checks up. out. Nice job by Zach Allison. Bearcats to inbounds. Ball, swing pass over to Glazier. There we go. Glazier gets called with the push off. I think it was, yeah, number four with oh, the moving four. screen. Okay, moving and screen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bar with the foul, and uh, as you said, a moving screen on that one. Three team fouls apiece now. Lines with a two-point lead, 10 to 8, 107 left in the first. Arrow back to Macy. Macy back to Johnson. Back over to Darrow on the left-hand side. They look back to Alex Yoxel. Yoxel back to his brother. Andrew on the left-hand side. Back to Macy. Macy can pass over to Johnson. Johnson on the right-hand side. He better gets it. Oh. Back to Macy, there we go. Boy, we're lucky to yeah. maintain possession there. Josh just happened to get in front of number 11 Cunningham when he's whistled with the push. 38 seconds <coughs> remaining in the quarter. They get it into Alex Oxel. back to Macy. Macy picks up his dribble, back to Johnson. 32 seconds left in the first quarter. Johnson back to Alex Yoxel. Yoxel looks for a cutter. He's back to Johnson. <coughs> 20 seconds left. Got a player out on top of him. Back to Yoxel. Back to Darrow. <coughs> 12 seconds left. Darrow back to Johnson for three. A rebound by the Bearcats. <coughs> and they will not get a shot off. <coughs> and that will end the first quarter. Minneapolis with a two-point lead, 10-8. to eight. And the Lions, uh, interesting first quarter basketball, Mike. Good tight ball game. Both teams playing very good defense. Uh, letting them play a little bit for the most part. Uh, good clean, not too many turnovers. And uh, Glazer's had some open looks. Haven't been able to knock anything down as of yet. But you know as well as I do, he can put string together four or five shots in a row. Minneapolis leading 10-8 here at the end of the first quarter. We'll be right back. At Lambert Insurance, Kent Lambert can make shopping for insurance easy. With insurance plans changing all the time and costs increasing constantly, getting coverage you need at affordable rates can be a challenge. Let Lambert Insurance in Minneapolis help. Eagle Communications, home of ECTV, high speed internet, 910 KINA, and 99 KG Country, is a proud sponsor of tonight's hometown coverage of Lion Sports. Listen to the Lion Sports on SalinaPost.com. <clears throat> Welcome back to Ellsworth, Kansas. Dale Leach, Mike Perry, myself, Scott Osherman, 10 to 8. 
line to the lead at the end of one. Minneapolis will have the ball to start the second quarter. Ellsworth goes, has gone seven, uh, gone too deep in the bench, seven and out. Uh, five seniors, two juniors. They're a, we're a senior-laden team, but they're even more senior-laden than what we are. Ball goes down to the Oxel, and there's going to be a foul over the back uh, on Mural. That will be the fifth team foul. I think just Mural's first foul. Darrow to inbounds for the Lions. Gets it into Johnson. Johnson will drive. Back to Alex Oxel. Down low to Zach Allison. Zach in the paint, up and good. Nice job, Zach Allison. I've been waiting to see that for a long time. Nice job, Zach. Takes it right in, was aggressive. He did that the other night. Nice job, Zach Allison. Nice footwork, work down low. Found himself with a nice easy one off the glass. Nice shot. Driving the outside and stolen by Andrew Yoxel. Nice job by the Lions. Great help defense down low. And then Yoxel comes out to help. And there's a flock. Yep, nice job. He was sliding right into that Glazier was. Andrew Yoxel wisely takes it right into him. Fouls on Glazier. I think that's his first. 16 foul. But it puts Andrew at the line to shoot two. Well, the player control fouls have been kind of sporadic tonight, yep. so I was holding my breath on that one. First shot is up, and it is good. And by the senior, Andrew Oxel, 13 to 8, lines the lead. Colin Briggs checks in for Alex Johnson. Nice job by Alex. Second shot coming. Shot is up, and it is off the mark. Rebounded by Muro. Back to Glazier. Glazier will bring it down the right-hand side, guarded by Colin Briggs. Swings it back out to Barr. Back to Freeze. Swing pass over to Wilson. Wilson at the top of the key. Back to Glazier. Glazier, tight defense on Briggs. Nice job, Briggs. Uh, Glazier somehow gets it off. That was a tough shot with anybody in his face. Briggs had great defense on him. He somehow gets it away and gets it in. All goes back to Andrew Yoxel. Andrew in the paint, back out to Darrow. Darrow will drive, and there's a foul right there. And that'll be either on Mural or Glazier. Either way, it's a two, it's a second foul. That'll put Glazier. Darrow at the line. Shoot a one and one. Checking in will be number 13, McGregor Jones, another senior checking in for the Bearcats. Shot is up and good. He makes the first one. Alex Johnson checks in for Alex Yoxel. Second shot coming by the senior Darrow. Up and good, makes them both. 15 to 10, lines of the lead. Josh Macy checks in for Darrow. Nice job by the senior as freshman comes in for the senior. Macy will be guarding Wilson as he brings the ball down. Swing pass on the outside. Back to the top, back to McJo uh, McGregor Jones. Going to have... A little confusion here. Nice up, nice shot by Ben Muro as he drives and puts it off the glass. That was a nice shot by Muro. Johnson for three. No good. Rebounded by Andrew Yoxel. Back to Macy. Back to Briggs. Back to Johnson on the outside. On the free throw line. That's off the mark. Almost bounced in. Zach Allison battling down there. Great hustle by Zach Allison in the tie. Uh, yeah. yeah. Laying out of bounds. Laying out of bounds. Nice hustle by both Johnson and Yox, or, uh, Allison down there. Somebody was out of bounds and they touched it. It'll go back to the Bearcats. 15 to 12, Minneapolis, 546 remaining in the half. Thank you, Dale.
<coughs> Wilson to bring it down for the Bearcats. Gets it over on the outside. And stolen by Andrew Yoxel. Back to Macy. Nice anticipation there. Andrew right at the right spot. Back down to Macy. Down low to Yoxel. Swing pass over to Johnson. Johnson looks. Back to Andrew Yoxel. Back to Johnson for three. And he is just off the mark tonight. Oh, we'll come back the other direction. Nice pass up and good by Freeze. And they're back to within one, 15 to 14. Five minutes left to go here in the second quarter. Oh, <laughs> we got away with the walk there. Colin Briggs off the mark and will be out of bounds. Oh, off of White, will stay with Minneapolis. And we got two breaks right there, guys. <laughs> I'm going to have to give Alex credit. I, I worked him pretty hard the last game with his composure. He's playing very well tonight, very well, playing under well. control. You know, he could have retaliated when Blazer threw the elbow at him, and then down there the guy was on him and uh, caught him with a pretty good lick across the forehead. So Nice pass down low. The, yeah. <laughs> Zach Allison, that was a great read and a great, great job by Darrell to wait on him to get position. All goes back on the outside to Jones. Jones kicks it on the outside to Wilson. Wilson will drive it around back to Barr. Barr guarded tightly there by Zach Allison. Barr kicks it back out to Jones. Jones will drive on Andrew Yoxel. Down to Freeze. Up and good by the senior, Jacob Freeze. The ball will come back to the lines. Well, he isn't very tall, but he is tough down on the low block. That Freeze, can, he can score. Josh Macy back to Alex Yoxel. Alex rolls to the free throw line. Back to Darrow for a deep three. Oh, I thought it was good. A nice hustle rebound by Alex Yoxel. Back to Macy. Back to Darrow. Darrow will line it up. Back to Andrew Yoxel. No, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> palming the ball. Yeah, palming the ball, ball is the call. But after he, after he got knocked it, Knocked away. Ah, oh, wow. Goodness. 3.57 in the half. Lines up 17-16. All will go into the hands of, of Wilson to bring it down. Down by one. Minneapolis clean to a one-point lead. Wilson back the outside. Top of the key gets it in the hands of Muro. Muro back to Wilson. Wilson back to Glazier. Glazier on the left-hand side. He'll take a deep three. It's off the mark. And he gets the end of his own rebound. And it'll go off of Yoxa. It'll stay with the Bearcats. Glazer back in, playing with two personal fouls. His shot's been a little short. Ball gets it in. The freeze, nice job. Back to freeze. That's the free throw line. Shot up and good. Well, he is a solid ball player. Plays a lot bigger than his six-foot frame. Yes, he does. They take the lead, 18 to 17. Andrew Yoxel shot up and good. Nice job by Andrew Yoxel as he answers it nicely. Timeout, and Minneapolis. Minneapolis will call a 30-second timeout. Up by one, 19 to 18, 308 left to go here in the first half. We will take a break. You're listening to SalinaPost.com as well as Eagle Communication, Channel 2, Minneapolis. Bennett Autoplex supports the Minneapolis Lions. At Bennett Autoplex, you'll find a small-town family atmosphere with great prices on new and used cars. New vehicles, including Buick and GMC trucks and SUVs, serving their customers since 1957. Bennett Autoplex, Salina. Welcome back to Ellsworth, Kansas. 308 remaining in the half. Good ball game. Lines up by one, 19 to 18. Bearcats going to be on the attack here. <coughs> Bearcats will have it here. 19 18, as you said, lines with the lead. Glazier will bring it down for the Bearcats. It'll be picked up by Darrow at the, at the half court mark. Switched off by Macy. A little, little bit of a zone defense here by the Lions. 
Kelsey spread it out a little bit. Yes, it is. 2-3 zone. Drop down pass. And rebounded by Macy. Nice job by Zach Allison down low. Back to Andrew Yoxel. Back to Macy. Yep. Alex Johnson will come in for Josh Macy. Coach, we want to control the ball, and he's explaining to Josh not a good time for a turnover. Never a good time for a turnover. No. But right there, this is a this is a tight ball game. We we need every possession. Ball goes back on the outside to Glazier. Glazier guarded tight by swing pass, three-point shot up and off the mark, rebounded by Alex Joxel. Gets it back on the outside to Darrow. Darrow drives up and can't get it to fall. And Glazier comes away with it. A little out. Ball will come back to down to, to Freeze. Freeze, drop down pass, down low, stolen by Andrew Joxel. He'll come back the other direction. And the foul, blocking foul, Good nice call. job. Good call as Darrow tries to go, uh, fakes the pass, tries to go around him. He was not set. First personal foul on Freeze. Darrow will go to the line to shoot a one. Is he shooting? Should be two. Should be two. Yeah, so should be two. Shot is up and good. Makes the first one. It is regardless. a team foul, but uh, that was a two shot foul. 20 to 18 lines with a two point lead. Second shot coming by Darrow. Up and good, makes them both. <laughs> nice job by a uh, little cheer squad in front of us here. Bailey Walker's dad and two young girls. <laughs> nice steal by Andrew Oxel. Back up to Darrow. He'll take it all the way in and he'll get fouled again, but he's going to the line again. Nice job by Darrow to drive it right in. Number 11, Cunningham. Cunningham will foul him. Back to the line for the lines. Well, we're getting to the free throw line, and uh, you know every free throw is important. We've made six of them so far, so and leading by three, so you know what we've been doing. We've been making them. <laughs> Next free throw coming. Uh, you got to uh, you got to watch Bailey Walker's dad down here if you see this. Second shot is up, and he makes it. <laughs> I love it. He can handle it. 23-18 uh, to 18 lines with a five-point lead. Glazier on the outside, picks up his dribble, gets it back down to Mural. Mural looked for a cutter, had nothing. He drives, picks it back down to Freeze. Freeze shot up, and he's been the money man tonight. And they're going to call Andrew Yoxel with the push-off. And it will stay with the Bearcats. First, fourth team foul. Freeze the inbound, gets it to Glazier. Glazier. Minneapolis still in the zone. Back to Miro. Miro will drive. Back to uh, Glazier. Back to the outside to Cunningham. Swing pass over to Miro. Miro drives back to Cunningham. Looking for the cutter, gets it stolen. Nice job by Andrew Yoxel. I'm not sure what happened on that. Andrew just kind of got it handed to him. Oh, he lost the handle on it for sure, and it went right into the bread basket of Andrew Yoxel. 54 seconds left, back in the hands of Alex Yoxel. Back to Zach Allison. Back to Johnson. Johnson at the top of the key, 42 seconds left. They're just going to let him sit out there. Back to Alex Yoxel. Back to Johnson. Johnson. Back to Darrow. Darrow on the outside with 25 seconds left. They're counting it off. Back to Yoxel. Back to Johnson. 20 seconds. 23 to 18 lines with the lead. They're going to let him have it. Back off to let him have the last second shot with 15 seconds left. Back to Darrow. Darrow back to Johnson. Johnson back to Yoxel. Yoxel on the outside. Swing pass. Back to John Yoxel for three, off the mark. Had a good Perfect. look. That was a well-planned play. Perfect. Nice job by 
Andrew Yoxel had a good look at the end just off the side of the rim. You couldn't ask for a better no. shot nice at job. the buzzer with half a second left on the clock. It's just a great job moving the ball, but uh, Minneapolis does end up with a five-point lead at halftime. That's great first half of basketball. Yep. Nice job by the Lions as they take the lead at the half, 23 to 18. Minneapolis with the lead. We'll take a break. You're listening to SalinaPost.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 2 Minneapolis. We'll be back after this word from our sponsors. Welcome back to Ellsworth, Kansas. It's halftime. We've got some stats, I believe. Mike, you got it ready? Well, it's going to go down and shoot a free throw or two. Oh. Since everyone's hot, I thought I might be able to make one, too. <laughs> For Ellsworth, Clint Glazer had two points. Jacob Freeze leading all scorers here in the first half with 10. And he is tough, about six foot and well put together young man down on the low block, very, very quick, quick jumper and a good shooter. Mural had the rest of the points for Ellsworth. He had four, just three people score for the Ellsworth Bearcats. For Minneapolis, Andrew Yoxel leads Minneapolis with nine points. John Darrow with six points, all from the free throw line in the second quarter. Zach Allison with a good first half with five points. And Alex Johnson, or excuse me, Alex Yoxel with three. So four people score for Minneapolis and just three for Ellsworth. Good first half of uh, high school basketball. Interesting, uh, no, we've had some looks for three We've uh, taken some shots for three, have not had anything fall yet from three-point range. But neither is Ellsworth. And Glazier's been shooting. He's probably shot four of them and uh, hasn't made anything either. So, so interesting first half of basketball, 23 to 18 lines with the lead. And uh, they, uh, they, they picked up their defensive intensity a little bit in the second half. They were able to shut them down. Maybe our help with our bench play with them going seven, maybe eight deep, um, our bench play. Uh, with us going nine, a little help maybe to wear them down. They do play very fast and very quick. Well, in my opinion, that's probably the best half of basketball we've played so far this season. I thought overall they played uh, very good on the defensive end, had good help defense uh, a lot of the times. I think we're kind of lucky, Scott, that Glazer hasn't hit, you know, a couple of those long bombs because he yeah. isn't afraid to shoot them. And, uh, he hasn't uh, found a shot he hadn't liked yet. He'll keep on cranking him up in the second half. But uh, we have to keep track of him and uh, at least get a hand in his face. Yep, absolutely. But you, uh, our bench play has been good. Kelly uh, got two quick fouls, didn't get a lot of minutes in, so someone else had to play, and they have done well. Well, with that, uh I'm going to take some time here, guys, to give an unscripted, unrequested editorial. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is huh. the opinion of Dale Leach. <laughs> it is not to be construed as the opinion of Eagle Communications, 19kina.com. <laughs> Double uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. <laughs> or the administration of Minneapolis High School, or USD 239. Or Mike Perry or Scott Osherman. Or Mike Perry or Scott Osherman. <laughs> I'm out. But uh, uh, it... Last week, last Friday at the game at Minneapolis, we had an incident where one of the younger players on the squad and the uh, height of the, <laughs> they'll be less expensive, uh, was made a mistake, okay? In the height of the heat, the heat of the moment in the fourth quarter of a very intense game. And uh, Coach Shoup, in also in the heat of the moment, asked this young man to come to the bench and uh, the young man was received a, a tongue lashing, to say it very nicely, quite a severe tongue lashing. And uh, it brought to my attention that several people around town have uh, voiced their opinion to others and from the school districts about the uh, tongue lashing that was meted out by Coach Shoup to this young man. I would just like to say, if you think that's cruel, an unusual punishment to that player, you don't know much about coaching. Uh, the young man was back on the court within two minutes and played well the rest of the game. He obviously made a mistake that the coach didn't like. The coach probably talked to him about in the past. 
and they got it correct. The young man's playing again tonight. Uh, coaches don't get anywhere by being nicey wicey to the players. They have to maintain discipline. They have to tell the players what is expected, and they have to hold them to that account. Coach Shoup has gotten these teams to the state tournament championship game the last two years in a row, and I hope you didn't think he got those guys there by just being a real nice guy and trying to tell them when they do good and all the rest. It takes a lot of intense discipline and telling them like it is, telling them what it needs to be. We have seen other players receive the same treatment in their younger days, and as seniors, they are not making the mistakes, and they are leading the Lions very well. So I would ask that you think before you criticize the coach. It may not be as much a nice and rosy-colored world as you'd like it to be, but it takes a lot more than that to coach a successful team in high school basketball. There, that is my opinion. It's done. We'll take a word here from our sponsor. Welcome back to Ellsworth High School for a second half action. Ellsworth Bearcats taking on the visiting Minneapolis Lions. We lead 23 to 18. Welcome back as Ellsworth will have the ball to start the second half. 23 to 18 Lions with the lead. Bearcats with the ball. Glazier will have the ball to bring it down against Johnson for the Lions. Glazier on the outside. Guarded tightly by Alex Johnson. Glazier drives to his right. Picks up a little double team, kicks it back out to Wilson, swing pass to Muro. Muro guarded by, back to Freeze. Freeze back to Wilson, looks down low to Glazier. And it's blocked, partially blocked, and picked up by Alex Yoxel. Back to Darrow. Darrow bring it down for the Lions. Swing that pass. Great help Johnson. defense down there to get the block. Nice quick pass on the outside to Andrew Yoxel. Looks at Zach Allison. Kicks it back out, swing pass over to Johnson. Into Alex Yoxel, up and good, and he gets it. Nice job, Alex Yoxel, great pass. That is a great quick pass by Alex Johnson. Just threads the needle tightly, and matter of fact, <laughs> Alex Yoxel kind of shocked to even get it in there. Wide open. And then he gets it turned around, nice job. Had two players down there, threaded it, he gets the bucket, and he's at the line for the and one. Shot is up and good. Third personal foul by Barr for the Bearcats. 26 to 18, lines with the lead. Back on the goes to Muro. Muro on the outside, guarded tightly there. Back to Freeze. Freeze brings it back over to Freight. Glazier, shot is up and no good. And oh, nice play by Glazier to tip it off of Johnson's head. It'll stay with the Bearcats. Swing pass out to Muro, back to Freeze. Swing pass over. Down low. Yep, nice job. Nice job by Minneapolis to let him go as they get it down low to Muro. Muro finishes it. Uh, wisely didn't get the three uh, foul down low. Down Another quick pass down to Alex Yoxel. Shot up and good. Nice job by Alex Yoxel. Backs him in. Turn around. Fade away. Gets it to fall. 28 to 20. Another great pass by Johnson. Great finish by Yoxel. Nice recognition to see the... Uh, uh, Yoxel has a little bit of an advantage here on the size. Three-point shot up and no good. And there's going to be a, a foul going the other direction. Zach Allison got good position. Got ben Muro with the foul. You're right, Dale. Nice position by Zach Allison. Muro got an arm wrapped around him. It'll go back to the Lions. 6-19, 20 the Lions with the lead. <coughs> has... Darrell brings it down, gets it down a little Yoxel. Yoxel backs it in again. Gets it back to Andrew Yoxel. Swing pass back to his brother. Alex on the outside. Quick pass out to Johnson. Off the glass and good. Nice recognition. Great pass. Great finish as Alex Yoxel returns the favor to Alex Johnson. Johnson with some great footwork and a nice floater right off the glass. Nice shot. Ball goes back on the outside. Guarded tightly there, swing pass to, uh, to Freeze. Freeze in three-point range, back to Muro. Muro looks to Wilson. Shot up and off the mark, and he's going to get his own rebound. 
Humphreys on the outside. Back to Mural. Mural guarded there by Andrew Yoxel. Minneapolis in a man defense. And there's going to be the bucket and the foul as Freeze drives around. And he gets the, the bucket and he's fouled by Darrow. He'll go to the line to shoot the end one. Freeze just too strong down on the low block. You need to let him go on that one. He is quick as well. Shot is up and it is off the mark. Rebounded by Zach Allison. Back to Darrow. Darrow bring it down for the Lions. Back over to Andrew Yoxel. Andrew down to Zach Allison off the glass and good. Nice job. Great read by the Lions. Andrew Yoxel and see something down low. They've done a great job in the low post in the second half. Great job coaching in the in the halftime to, to recognize that. Nice deal there by by Darrow. Back to Zach Allison. Zach Allison off the mark. Can't get it. And Minneapolis does not get the oh, misses a couple opportunities. And Freeze takes it all the way down and finishes it. Wow. Had two opportunities down low. We couldn't finish it. The Bearcats come away with the bucket after the shot is up and good. Baseline runner by Alex Johnson with the nice finish. Ten-point lead for the Lions, 34-24. Johnson warming up a little bit as hit his last two buckets. Been cold up until now. Maybe that'll help get him going. Pass down low, back to Freeze from the free throw line, up and good. Freeze, pretty, a pretty good shooter from just about everywhere inside the three-point range. Darrow will bring it down, kicks it back out to Johnson. And low, pass up and good, great. Another, that's a third assist this half by Johnson to Yoxel. Alex Yoxel with a great finish down low, 36-26. Glazier on the outside, guarded by Johnson. Minneapolis trying to get some subs in at the 347 mark. Pass down low, great pass, great job. Uh, Alex Johnson hacks, or Alex, Alex Andrew yeah, Yoxel. Andrew, Andrew Yoxel hacks from the back. We got too many Alexes. <laughs> get too confused out there. Too many A's. Too many A's. Too many A's. Second personal on Andrew. Shane Wilson will be at the line to shoot two. Second team foul. First shot is up and good. Kelly and Macy will check in for Alex Yoxel and Zach Allison. Nice job by Alex Yoxel as well as Zach Allison. So. Second shot by Wilson is up and it is off the mark. Rebounded by Andrew Yoxel. Gets it back to Darrow. Quickly pass up to Johnson. Back to Macy, Andrew Yoxel, back to Darrow, back to Andrew, tries, kicks it back out to Macy, he'll take the three, and he gets the shooter's roll from three-point range. Run it was, it was, plan. it was flat, but it went in. Nice job by Josh Macy with the three. You've heard me talk about the rotation of the ball. Josh had. Great rotation, and uh, that's what gave that ball a chance to go in. Glazier turn, returns the favor and hits a three from the outside and goes the other direction. Oh, nice job, Andrew Yoxel to spin in the lane, comes down, and he drives and spins around in the lane. Bucket is good, 41 to 30 lines with 11 point lead, 251 left to go in the third quarter. Nice job by Minneapolis, Mike. Solid, solid. Nice. 30-second timeout. We'll go ahead and keep it here. Laser finally did hit one, though, so we, we got to find him. Got to find him now because uh, once he starts feeling it, he he doesn't mind lighting it up at that point. Now let's go back and talk for a second. Uh, a great job down low by the Lions, finding, uh, taking advantage of some size down low in the low block. We've been able to get, get some great passes down there. We've got some great finishes. We missed a few, but we've also gotten some great buckets down low uh, by our by our low post. Yeah, we got caught down low and they got the easy bucket but man we're crashing the boards as you mentioned some excellent passing and uh, some uh, mismatches actually I, Alex uh, Yoxa with a little size advantage down there and he's uh, been able to put the ball in the hoop too it's good to see that Minneapolis pretty solid here tonight so far <coughs> Glazier will bring it down for the Bearcats gets it back in the hands of Cunningham in the for the first time this half. 
Swing pass back on the outside to Wilson. Wilson looks at Jones, back to Glazier. Glazier will drive, shot up and off the mark. Oh. So you nice get job. Ball. Yeah. All right, that'll come. That's uh, John Kelly has been doing very well. That was that's that's one of the mistakes he will learn from. You know, grab it next time. Nice job by Wilson. Quick team like this can get to that ball and uh, save it. And they get a quick uh, bucket by Barr, and Lions will get Zach Allison back in. Johnson up and good. Nice job, Alex Johnson. Great job by Darrow to find him all alone down there. Johnson finishes nicely. Six points, I believe, for Johnson. In this quarter, yes. Drop down pass. And up and good by Barr as he answers coming back the other direction. Minute 58 left in the third. Ah, this one, this time it's stolen by Glazier as he steps right in front. And there's going to be a foul. I think that's Darrow. Yep. First, second. second. <laughs> In other words, they both fell down. Yeah. Darrow got the wood on first. <clears throat> Glazier's shot is up and good. He is one that you just don't want to get him lightened up, loosened up, as he'll start dropping points left and right. Kelly and Johnson will take a breather. Checking in also for the Bearcats is uh, Freeze checks back in for Ellsworth. Second shot coming by Glazier's up and it's good. He makes them both. They're back to within eight, 43 to 35. Back to Alex Yoxel. Ah. And good the charge. Good job by Glazier there. Yep. Made his position. Took the charge. 43 to 36, seven point lead, we were up by 11. We were letting them slowly get back into this. Bearcats get it down to Glazier. Swing pass order. Yeah, three point shot is up and good. Four point lead, folks, just like that. And the Bearcats have spread the defense a little bit. Finally, a foul on Glazier. That's his third personal foul. Third team foul on the squad. Andrew Yoxley getting ready to inbound it. Gets it into Alex, back to Andrew. Swing pass to Darrow for three. Yes. yes, nice job, John Michael. We needed that one right there. Nice job by the senior Darrow. Back in the hands of Wilson. Wilson backs away, dribbles down, picks up his dribble. Nearly stolen, and it is stolen by Alex Yoxel. Nice job by Darrow and Yoxel right there. 58 seconds left in the quarter. Darrow on the outside, kicks back out to Andrew Yoxel. Back to Darrow for a deep three. Off the mark, but rebounded by Andrew Yoxel. Back to Darrow. Back to Alex Yoxel, 43 seconds, pulls it back out. Spreads it back out. With 37 seconds left, they will wait to play the last shot here in the quarter. Back to Alex Yoxel. Back to Andrew. 46 to 39, seven point lead. Zach Allison on the left hand side. Back to Macy. 18 seconds. Macy on the outside. Back to Yoxel. Back to Darrow with 13. And he finishes a nice job by Darrow. Takes it all the way down the lane and finishes it right there. And then the steal by Darrow. And no, nope, yes, there we go. Nice job by Darrow. And the foul by Glazier. That's four on Glazier. Nice job. Nice job by Darrow. And he'll go back to the line. Drives it right in. Nice job by by Darrow right there. Seven seconds left on the clock in the third quarter. And he makes the first one. Nice job by the senior Darrow. Has another one coming here. 49 to 39. They were within four. We're back to a 10 point lead. And 
And second one is up, no good. Zach Allison gets it. <laughs> oh, nice oh, job by fun. Zach Allison and, and John Michael Darrow. Nice job by the Lions. Darrow finishes right there with a run of nine points, if I've got that right. Had a tray and a deuce and a field goal. No, not quite now. So three, yeah. five, six points. Sorry about that. I'm just, I was too far ahead. Six points by Darrow. Nice little run there at nice the end. 49-39. We'll take a break at the end of three. Your Minneapolis Lions with the lead. We'll be back after this word from our sponsors. Lionbackers are proud to continue their long-term support of the broadcast of these Lions games. Join us as we support student activities and the teachers of MJSHS. Go Lions! We're with you all the way. Where do you go when you need groceries? Jeans IGA, of course. Jeans is proud to be a sponsor of Minneapolis Sports and hopes that you'll encourage your children to be as competitive in the classroom as they are in sports. Jeans IGA, a proud sponsor of today's game. Welcome back to Ellsworth, Kansas. Quarter number four, the Lions up 49 to 39 with possession of the ball to start Inbounds goes to Darrow. Darrow will bring it down. Sets it up at the top of the key. Guard guarded tightly there. Backward to Andrew Yoxel. Screen by Alex. Back to Andrew. Back to Darrow on the right hand side. Goes down low to Zach Allison. Swing pass over to Darrow. Back to Alex in the paint. Back to Andrew. Shot is up. No good. And it'll be rebounded by the Bearcats. A lot of bodies flying around. No call down low. It'll go back to Bearcats, back on the outside to, to freeze, and then stolen by Zach Allison. Zach quick for that loose ball. Nice play by Minneapolis. Darrow drives, kicks it back out to Johnson. Johnson on the outside, gets it back down and low. The Yoxel shot is up, no good. Andrew gets it though, and, and they're gonna get Andrew Yoxel with the charge. Backwards charge. I don't think we've ever seen that before. I don't think I have <laughs> either. So he's trying to make the position for himself to get the shot off. And, uh, well, all of a sudden, Andrew has three fouls. We'll see what Ellsworth looks like with Blazer on the bench. Well, as long as you get a freeze, you get potential. Yeah. And Wilson's not a little ball uh, ball player right there. He's had a pretty good, uh, not had a lot of points, but he's handled the ball very well for the Bearcats. Gets it back over to Barr, Barr back to Freeze. Nice hands by Darrow to get a hand in there. They had Wilson cutting right down. Freeze threw a dart. Darrow gets a hand up in the passing lane. It'll stay with the Bearcats. They've been running that back door all night long, but uh, not much luck so far. And the great hands there and the reach in by John Michael. Nice hands down low. Great job by Alex Yoxel. Get a hand in there. Great hustle down low by the sophomore Yoxel. Ball goes into Wilson. Wilson back to her cut, and it's stolen by Andrew Yoxel. Alex Johnson with the assist back to Yoxel to bring it down. Swing pass over to Darrow. And he slips and falls. Might have been pushed. No call. Might be some moisture on the floor there. Yep. Minneapolis players wisely come down to try to get the floor cleaned up for them. 49 to 39. 6.42 left to go here in the ball game. The Bearcats with the ball. Wilson guarded by Darrow. Wilson will bring it down. Gets it back in. There's the turnover right there. And then we'll come back the other direction. Always nice to see those unforced errors and also those uh, hamburgers as they come out. <laughs> They're we'll saying $1. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. take three. <laughs> Absolutely. <Just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> so Great drive by Andrew. Andrew Yoxel with the bucket. Nice job by Andrew Yoxel. So. <laughs> If I can get their attention, I'll buy one from up here. So, <laughs> Ball comes down low. Freeze on the outside. 
and they will stolen by Darrow. Darrow bring it down, drives all the way in, shot up with the left hand, nice finish by Andrew Yoxel. Darrow. Just, or by Darrow, excuse yeah. me. And it will come back, nice job by Darrow with the, with the drive and the steal and the bucket. Ball goes down low. Yeah, there's a foul by Alex Johnson. Blazer getting ready to come back in at the 542 mark. I wondered how long they would wait. He has four fouls, but good help defense by Alex, jo Alex Johnson over there. Kind of got with a nickel dimer over there. Yeah. And his first personal his foul. First. Got to watch the outside. A wide open three. Luckily, he misses it. Ah, wowzer. Alex Yoxel hits the floor hard. Another no call. Glazier, a deep three. That's off the mark, but it's rebounded by Darrow. Darrow will bring it down. Shot up and up and no good. Rebounded. That's going to be off Zach Allison. Will be the foul on Zach. Zach had position, but he's just over the back. Seventh team foul should be a one and one. Yes. Good catch, Dale. 53-39, to 14-point lead at the line will be uh, Cunningham for the Bearcats. The one and one. They are in the bonus. We've got 17 fouls. Shot is up and good as he makes the first one. We got a ways to go before we get the uh, one and one. Ellsworth there already. That could hurt us a little bit down the stretch. Second shot is up and no good. Rebounded by Andrew Yoxel. Way to go. Andrew comes right down and gets the hands in there and gets the rebound. Minneapolis will bring it down slowly there. Andrew Yoxel. Darrow on the outside back to Johnson. Johnson guarded tightly there. Back to Darrow. Darrow on the left-hand side. Excuse me, right-hand side. Back to Johnson. Swing pass over to Yoxel. Yoxel. Andrew at the top of the key. Nice job by Zach Allison, but a rebound by Alex Yoxel. Oh, Can't man. quite finish it. Nice job by both Zach Allison and Alex Yoxel. Alex will go to the line to shoot two. Great pass. Near finish by Zach Allison. Alex Yoxel at the line to shoot two. First shot is up, and it is good. Makes the first one. I have another one coming here. Must be some moisture on that floor. Alex is continually working his feet. Second shot. Well, he does for fire freely. He is up <laughs> and good. He's got to be getting close to 10 points. He's over that. A nice job by the sophomore Alex Yoxel. Glazier on the outside. Three point shot up and off the mark. Rebounded by Yoxel. They, they want Glazier shooting those. They, I don't think they want Cunningham, but right. Cunningham's probably got the green light at this situation. Nice job by Alex Johnson as Freeze steps in and Johnson Level goes right thing. over him. Nice job by Alex Johnson. That'll just be the 16 foul. So, Minneapolis... Uh, it's interesting. Well, all the Minneapolis and one, all the Minneapolis players and one Bearcat player, and the other Bearcat players just stand around like Minneapolis. Some towels around here <laughs> they make towels. That's a new floor. They want to keep it nice and clean. Yeah, there you go. John <laughs> Kelly's the smart one. He's Wait. the engineer. He'll get that thing wiped up. John. <laughs> right, John. I'd bring those hamburgers back one more time. <laughs> Have a second thought on that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Andrew Yoxel getting ready to inbounds at 431. He'll get it in to Darrow. 55 to 40 lines with the lead. Darrow drive. Boy, John to Johnson. Michael's first step is quick. He went right around Cunningham, didn't he? Takes it back out to Andrew, back to Darrow. Darrow, swing pass over to Johnson. Back to An Andrew Yoxel. Andrew drives. Gets it back to Darrow, back to Yoxel. Yoxel ducks in a little to Alex. Oh, nice finish, Alex Yoxel. Man, nice, quick move. He has an explosive step. Off that. Uh, that was a great quick move by Alex Yoxel and a great finish. 
up by 17, 57 to 40. Ball goes down low to Freeze. Freeze will drive, and that's going to be a foul on the line. Zach. Zach Allison. You know, this game with Alex here tonight is kind of what we expected after he got in and played last year. The minutes he played looked really mm. good. He could score. Yep. And uh, I kind of expected him to play like this all year long, and this is a great game for Alex. Shot is in and out, rebounded by Andrew Yoxel. <coughs> you know, we have done a great job in the second half extending the lead and pulling it out and pulling it away. Nice job by the Lions. Darrow back to Yoxel. Nice pass down low to Zach Allison in the finish. Great pass, great finish by Andrew Yoxel to Zach Allison. Zach did what Coach talked about, catch and shoot. Catch and put it up hard. Nice job, Andrew Yoxel. Nice job, Zach Allison. 19 point lead, 59 to 40. 3.35 remaining. We will take a break. You're listening to SlinerPost.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 2, Minneapolis. We'll be back after this word from our sponsors. Your Minneapolis hometown hardware is always there when you need an appliance, paint, tools. Well, truthfully, the list just goes on and on and on. So the next time you need something, almost anything, go to Hometown Hardware Minneapolis. They've probably got it. At Lambert Insurance, Kent Lambert can make shopping for insurance easy. With insurance plans changing all the time and costs increasing constantly, getting coverage you need at affordable rates can be a challenge. Let Lambert Insurance in Minneapolis help. Eagle Communications, home of ECTV, High Speed Internet, 910 KINA, and 99 KG Country, is a proud sponsor of tonight's hometown coverage of Lion Sports. Listen to the Lion Sports on SalinaPost.com. Welcome back to Ellsworth, Kansas. Dale Leach, Mike Perry, myself, Scott Osherman, 59 to 40. And we have just uh, <coughs> taken control late in the third. They had it to within four points in the third quarter, about halfway through the third quarter. Darrow finishes it off at the quarter uh, with a six-point run, and then we've extended it here in the fourth quarter. Nice job by the Lions. About three games ago, Coach Shoup said, you know, these kids have got a chance to be a pretty good ball club, and uh, they're coming together here tonight, aren't they? They are. Glazier drives. Nice job by Glazier. Wow. He is getting some points. Good basketball player. Yep, he yep. is. Nice job. Quick down pass. Andrew Yoxel drives back out to Johnson, back out to Darrow. <coughs> 307. This is what I like. They're smart about it. They're going to work a little clock. And uh, the pass goes uh, back into the Bearcats after the turnover. Blazier guarded by Johnson. Oh, how many steps do you get? Uh, three, but this is we're going to get a foul. NBA. Glazier will get uh, <laughs> Glazier will get his first one to go in. Zach Allison will check out with his fourth person foul. I don't think you want to stick Glazier at that charity stripe too much either. Makes them both. 59 to 44. Johnson. <laughs> Gets it across to Alex Oxel. Back to Darrow. We will enter Yoxel rolls around. Guarded tightly there. Drives down past to Kelly. Back on the outside to Darrow. Darrow. Back over to Johnson. And he has to pick up his feet. Gets it to Kelly. Kelly back to Darrow. Darrow drives. Looks down low, has nothing, goes back to Andrew Yoxel with 2.13. 15 point lead for the Lions. Andrew Yoxel, great ball movement into Kelly. And oh. Kelly's going to get called with the charge. Wow. Huh. Well, they've kind of had it in for him tonight. <laughs> Six remaining, it's 59 44 Minneapolis. 
fourth foul on Kelly. Kelly, is that right? Ball goes back to Glazier. Glazier on the outside, three-point shot by Wilson. Up no good, rebounded by Alex Oxel. Back to Andrew, Andrew will bring it down for the Lions. Oh, <laughs> I got a little worried about that one. Ball goes in the paint to Alex. Alex shot up, no good. It'll be off of Kelly. It'll go back to the Bearcats. Alex still attacking the rim here. What a game. Big 50, game. 59 to 44, minute 39 left. We'll take a quick break. You're listening to SolanaPost.com as well as e Communication Channel 2, Minneapolis. Bennett Autoplex supports the Minneapolis Lions. At Bennett Autoplex, you'll find a small-town family atmosphere with great prices on new and used cars. New vehicles, including Buick and GMC trucks and SUVs, serving their customers since 1957. Bennett Autoplex, Salina. Bennington State Bank is proud to support the Minneapolis Lions for the 2011-2012 season. We're proud to be a part of our great community and strive for excellence in our school, curriculum, and athletics. Go Lions in the 11-12 season from Bennington State Bank, your trusted hometown bank, with offices in Salina, Bennington, Minneapolis, Wamego, Sylvan Grove, and Lucas, member FDIC. <laughs> Had one extra there. Had one extra there, yeah. Got him off in time. Coach Garrow from the stands let them know they hadn't few ex one extra set of yeah if Andrew would have just kept his feet right there Lions out there he would have taken a charge instead he's going to get to pick up the foul and Glazier goes in he'll go to the line fourth personal foul on Yox Andrew Yoxel Glazier will be at the line to shoot two makes the first one second shot coming man he is deadly yeah free throw line Kind of surprised his brother didn't get any played some last year. And makes them both. Checking back in. Is this the yeah. new coach for Ellsworth? No. No, no Hackston. He's been here a couple years, I think. Haxton. Full court press picked up by. Gets it. Gets it into Darrow. That's. Wow. Darrell will go to the line. Nice job. I'll tell you, Andrew, Alex Oxel and Andrew and uh, uh, John Michael Darrow about, <laughs> about took each other out on that inbounds pass. Uh, Darrow to shoot a one on one. Glazier checks back in for Barr. 59 to 46. Lions at the line, Darrow with a one and one. Shot is up and good, makes the first one. Got another one coming. Now we put Glazer at the free throw line down there. They've cut into our lead, but now John Michael with a chance to do the same. Makes them both, are. nice job. Nice job by Darrow to get both free throws. Zach Allison checks in for Josh Macy. Fifteen point lead, Lions Glazier drives. Ball goes back out, three point shot up and good by Nero and he hits it with a minute 51, 61 to 49. 12 point lead for the Lions with a minute 15 left. We'll take another break as the Bearcats call a full timeout. They're gonna empty their bench, that's interesting. And they're not done yet, but they, yeah they are. They're gonna empty their bench and get some of their younger players in and uh, that's interesting. I think he wants some kids that are going to get after it on defense right here because he needs pressure, nothing but. Yeah. But it is surprising that he does bring in five fresh legs. Yeah, yeah, five fresh. So there's a 6'4", 6'5", uh, kid getting yeah. ready to go in. <clears throat> Not the one I was thinking that would be coming in. He's only a 6'5", so no trap. Trap. So, so trap uh, keener. Number 25 is the other Grant Glazier. You can see the resemblance there. Number 22, Tyler Hudson. And number, uh, I don't know, see what number that is. Number 10. 
And you're right. They are they want to by golly they want to get some hustle in there. Remember they 10. Speed and a foul. And, and then here comes the starting yeah. five back in. Yep. So. Darrow will Darrow will go to the line for a one on one here. Well they all got a quarter towards lettering for the season. <laughs> now they'll go right back in here shortly, I guarantee you. They're at the line for a one on one here. First shot coming by the senior. Shot is up and good. Has he missed tonight on the free throw? Yeah. I think he missed one earlier, He's didn't missed, he? Missed one. Yeah. But he's 10 of 11. <laughs> not too shabby. Uh, not too shabby percentage. Shot is up and good. Makes them both. Zach Allison checks back in for Josh Macy. 11 of 12 is a nice, nice shooting percentage from the charity strike. Glazier drives. There we go. Glazier is gone. gone. Nice job by Alex Yoxel, and he has hit the floor. A couple times really hard tonight. And Alex Shoxa will go back. Uh, player control, so. Right. Yeah, I would I would pull Alex out. Huh? Kind of worried about Alex. He's hit the floor so hard with his head a couple times. I'm worried about the wet spot he left down there. He perspires. There's a big old spot where he laid on the floor. Got to be. Five again. No. Nope. Yeah. Not all of them. No, nope, not all of them. They were already in. Some of them were. Josh Macy will have two at the line. Has Josh scored yet tonight? Yeah, Macy yeah, had hit a three. That three ball. Yeah, hit that three ball. Yeah. 63 to 49. Macy at the line to shoot two. Shot is up and good. Nice job by the freshman. It's a nice. Bucket right there. Back to the 15 point lead, 64 49. Yeah. Good to see Minneapolis putting 60 on the board. Misses the second one, rebounded by the Bearcats. Drives in. Oh, nice job. Misses it. Did but he it carry the ball? Oh, yeah. I thought so. Yeah, it carried it. One or two uh, loping steps. Foul on Shane Wilson. <laughs> Alex Yoxel will go to the line to shoot. We're in the double bonus now. You have two. Alex deserves to have a, deserves to have a sweaty yes. jersey tonight. He has played hard. Gets the first one to roll in. Nice job by by Alex Oxel. He's got 12 points in the second half. Second shot is up and good, makes them both. Nice job by the sophomore. Zach Allison checks back in for Josh Macy. Ball goes back in the hands of Wilson. Wilson will bring it down, guarded tightly there by. And then the turnover. They will sub, get five fresh in. <laughs> so. Where are them kids out going back and forth to the bench? <laughs> 66 to 49, 49.2 seconds left. Ball goes into Yoxel, back to Andrew. Andrew will lock it down. So. Run the clock, yeah. Coach said. Coach called off the dogs, no more fouls. 17 point lead is Good enough. Henry Oxel, 28 seconds left. Fives. 17 point lead for the Lions. 21 seconds left. We will come away with a victory here tonight. That's a hard one. It, it doesn't sound like it with a 17 point win, but you know, for the first three and a half quarters, it was a pretty close ball game. Yes, guys. it was. Henry Oxel with the ball to close this one out with five seconds left. 66 to 49, Minneapolis Lions come away with the victory tonight.
against the Earlsworth Bearcats. Just as you mentioned there at the end, we closed it out. We did a good job finishing tonight. Best game we've seen them play this year. Oh, no for doubt. sure, yeah. Against a <clears throat> improved Ellsworth Bearcats squad. Yeah, very much improved. So, Minneapolis Lions come away with a victory tonight by a score of 66 to 49. We will take a break and we'll be back with some stats. You're listening to SalinaPost.com as well as Eagle Communication Channel 2, Minneapolis. We'll be back after this word. Welcome back to Ellsworth, Kansas. Mike has computed and computed and has the scoreboard ready to go. Well, I've computed Minneapolis. I just keep going up and down it. I'm going to have to stop to do Ellsworth, but uh, I want to give you Minneapolis uh, scoring real quick. Josh Macy, big minutes, scored four points. Andrew Yoxel had 13. Leading all scorers tonight, John Michael Darrow with 18. Alex Johnson with six. Zach Allison with another solid game down on the low block with nine. And Alex Yoxel had 16. So big night for Yoxel, Darrow, uh, and Zach. Al we just played real well all the way through. How many guys scored? Six. Six had four scored in the first half, two more added in. Well, the guys have grown up immensely. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> much more of a complete game tonight than we've seen in their first three outings. Uh, they're melding together well. And, uh, they did a nice job. Uh, you know, uh, we talked about it. I felt like in the second half, ball movement was a lot more consistent. They did a great job of taking advantage of their weaknesses and going down uh, to the... Uh, uh, going down to the uh, low block, uh, working the ball around, getting into the low block, and getting some buckets. Uh, I just, I really was impressed with that tonight. Um, had some great ball movement by Alex Johnson, some great finish by Alex Yoxel. Um, just a nice job overall uh, for the Lions tonight. For Ellsworth, as we probably suspected, Clint Glazer just had two points at halftime, ends up with 16. So, we always worry about him. Once he gets started, he can score a lot of points. Freeze, who I thought was pretty solid uh, throughout the game, didn't score in the fourth quarter, but he had 16 points. Wilson had one. Barr had four. Cunningham had one. And Merle had nine. Merle, I thought, was uh, a little stronger than what it ended up, but a uh, pretty good ball player. But we kept him pretty well in check. So Coach Shoup uh, joining us here. Uh, uh, Coach, uh, congratulations uh, on a nice victory tonight. Uh, you know, we came away uh, um, I, for, for three and a half quarters, uh, very pesky. But I, I want to talk about towards the end of the, well, the second half, basically. I was very impressed. I told the guys I liked how we started moving the ball and really started working the ball in that low post. We had a little bit of size advantage, not much, but we did have uh, have some positions down there. We worked the ball down there. We had some great passes, some great finishes. The guys really seemed to work that ball down low, and we got a nice run going, and we just continued to finish. Yeah, you know, I, I thought it started probably, uh, we really started at the beginning of the game. Our kids came out and, and started a game with a lot of intensity on the defensive end. You know, we had a single-digit quarter to start that off and we maintained our defensive intensity throughout the game. And I, I just thought that, I told the kids at halftime, uh, we're a good enough offensive team that we've missed a lot of open shots. But if we just play defense the whole time, eventually those things start to, to happen for us. And kids moved the ball well. We knocked down some of those open shots this half, and, and we kept playing the same defense. And that's where that lead just kind of ballooned up for us. So. Well, 25 points in the low block, I think, you know, with Alex down there. Alex had just a yeah. really nice game. It's kind of something I expected. I told the guys I kind of expected him to have games like yeah. this after watching him play last year, but mm -hmm. just a solid effort by Alex. Yeah. And uh, and Zach had some uh, had nine points down low. So, yeah. you know, down on the low block, we scored 25, which yep. we've kind of been missing out down low, but mm -hmm. 
we uh, I thought as Scott mentioned got some just some excellent passing they come to get us and uh, the recognition the guys are rolling yeah. around uh, down low and well we got some nice easy buckets down yeah. there didn't we yeah we we did a lot better job of seeing the basket tonight and you know I I thought Alex Johnson came out you know he struggled a little bit missing some shots uh, in the first half and and then I just thought he made some really nice smart plays in the second half, getting himself to the basket and finding the open guy. And it's a lot easier to keep that defensive intensity up for an entire half when you, when you've got uh, some shots falling for you too. You know, so. Well, but that comes with uh, that comes with like you said the defensive side. But he he had some beautiful passes, yeah, and then he was rewarded with some beautiful passes <laughs> back to him. That's right. uh, you know that's what you love to see a team yeah. coming together and unselfishness seeing the entire floor and working it. Alex does do a great job with that high post rolling down mm -hmm. off, off of that pick, the roll down. Alex sees it very well and in the first half uh, did very well, had a few in the second half as well. Uh, Ellsworth's are very quick, uh, very quick, quick to the ball and very strong. That freeze kid for being six foot plays a lot bigger than six foot down low. Yeah. Well, you, I mean, you walk out there and we're all pretty skinny and they all got muscles. So, um, and, and, you know, I thought that affected us. They might not be tall, but in the first half we really had it. We didn't do some things right defensively, and they made us pay because if you get behind them, you're not getting in front of them. I mean, they're going to stick you on that low block because of their physical strength. And, and our, you know, Zach and, and Alex and, and, and John and some of those guys did a good job in the second half being a little more active with their feet and not trying to muscle guys you can't muscle. So. Boy, we crashed the boards down there and uh, had a good tip and had a good follow and another good tip, and we're on yeah. the, the offensive glass, and they get a quick kick out. But I mentioned the guys earlier. I kind of bagged on Alex uh, last game, maybe the game before, but I thought he played with composure tonight. He had mm -hmm. a chance to, to lose it when uh, yeah. Glazer threw that elbow down there, yep. and then he hit the floor a couple times, and guys yeah. came in there and, and yeah. bopped him pretty good a couple different yeah. times. But... Scott mentioned it two or three times. He had three excellent passes in a row. And then, as you mentioned, the movement, you aren't going to get nothing if you're standing still. And he got himself rolled into the – and his, he seems like his hands and footwork, if he's in midair, mm -hmm. his hands are really good around the glass and has a nice little bank shot yeah. down there. But much improved, I thought, and I, yeah. I thought he did a really good job tonight. Yeah, I, I, you know, I thought just all in all, from top to bottom, I thought there's just a lot of things we did better – tonight than we have really at any point in the season this year. That's what you want to see is you want to get better. You know, it's not it's not going to be perfect, but uh, as long as you're improving every game, and I felt finally we took a big step tonight, and that's good to see. Your team looked really good tonight, I yeah. thought. They did very well. Kip Composure did a very nice job. So did you, Coach. Thank I appreciate you, you buddy. Thanks, guys. Uh, nice. Thank you very much yeah. for nice coming win. out and uh, talking with us and yep. sharing with us. So the Lions come away with the victory tonight. We'll be back at home on Friday night against a very talented Sacred Heart team uh, that uh, uh, has has a lot of players uh, returning, and they will be tough on Friday night. A little uh, PSA. Um, um, the uh, Lions Club Soup Supper, Scholarship Soup Supper, is this Friday night. Uh, so uh, come on out and get some chili or some vegetable soup. Marge Reinhardt's making the soup, and I'm making the chili. So come on out. And, uh, uh, better, is it better go to the suit <laughs> then. Is it one, is it one alarm, two <laughs> alarm, or three alarm chilies, Scott? Uh, just uh, whatever alarm you want it to be. Made. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so come on out and enjoy, enjoy some soup, but uh, but uh, make a donation. Uh, this goes to the scholarships for Minneapolis high school seniors. We've been very fortunate to give four two hundred and fifty dollars scholarships for the last three years. Oh good. And uh, hopefully we can continue to do the same, and that's thanks to the support of the community. So. Um, for myself, Scott Osherman. Anything else, guys? I'm done. Good win, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a very nice win. A very nice win. Let's hope it hasn't cooled down too much, and let's hope we uh, uh, maybe the moisture's even stopped. Dodge, Come out and support the these lions. <laughs> yeah, dodge the deer. So, absolutely. So, for myself, Scott Osherman. Dale Leach. And Mike Perry. Good night from Ellsworth, Kansas.